Welcome back to our rifle bipod series and in this video we are looking at the Swagger Hunter 29 bipod. This is an awesome, very versatile type of a bipod that can be used for a wide range of functions. We're going to dive into some of these features. If you missed our first video in the series where we talked about some of the general differences between the six bipods in this series, go check that out. I'll put a card up here for that as well as a link in the description for you. And check out our website, backwardspursuit.com, and our social media accounts. I'll put all that down in the description for you. Tons of other backcountry gear reviews there. I think you might find interesting. Go check that out. Let's dive into the Swagger Hunter 29 bipod review. All right, the Swagger Hunter 29 bipod. Uh, they make this in a longer version as well. This is this one caps out at 29 inches in height, and really has, uh, you know, they, they say the low is around six inches, but you can actually get it lower than that if you want to because of the flexibility of these legs. It comes in at just over 25 ounces, so it's by a long shot the heaviest of the group, but it comes with so much functionality and so much versatility makes up for a lot of that. It's obviously a lot bulkier here than some of the other bipods. So if you're building an ultralight rifle, probably not the best option for you. But if you're wanting something that's super versatile, can be used for prone shooting all the way up to sitting, this is a great option for you. So let's look at how this works. Uh, the, 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 the swagger you might notice first thing is that these legs are, they're, they're flexible. And it's not the, the material here that's flexible. If you pull these out, you'll see that it springs right here, spring loaded. So it allows you to to flex these legs into all the different directions that you might want or need. You pull these out, there's a little push button right here. Uh, so you push that down and it locks them into place like that. Uh, and that gives you the most rigidity that you're gonna find in this. Even with that, it's still pretty flexible. Um, so this is a, another one of those bipods that when you're shooting it, you're gonna wanna load into it a little bit. Um, but if you, let's say you need to make a prone shot, you're gonna pull this out pull those out both like that, and you can either spread these out, you know, across like that. And of course, this is a really slippery surface. Uh, so this is not dirt or something like that, but you can, you could do your prone shooting like that, or you can, you know, you can go out, out front like that if you'd rather do that, depending on what situation you're in. Uh, maybe you have, you're on the side of a hill and you need to put this against the side of the hill like that. Gives you just a ton of options and flexibility that way. Now, if you want to store this, you pull that up and there's a, a rope or a string right there attached and it stores like that. So it is fairly compact given what it, what it does once it's in storage mode. Still a lot more bulky than anything else in this review, certainly, and, and heavier like we mentioned, but you just get so much functionality with this. So really quick and easy to deploy that way. Now for the legs, they are twist legs. And as you can see, you get just a ton of, of ability to to use this not only as a, a, a prone type bipod, but you can extend both of these out and use this as a sitting bipod. And again, these legs are, are flexible. So I'm, you know, I'm on the table there, but if I was sitting down, this would be about perfect for a sitting style shot. And if I need to put one of these up on a rock or whatnot, lean into a hill. Now, one other thing that is super cool about this is if you need to take an offhand shot, you deploy these legs and you just grab them like that and you can put them against so your belt loop like that, and, and that's actually super stable. Uh, you've got so many options. Anything you here, your your uh, creativity is kind of the limit with what you can do on these uh, with these legs. Now, being twist legs, they are a little bit more time consuming to deploy all the way out uh, than the lever or something like that. So take that into account. But you do have just so much flexibility and functionality with these. They just really provide you with the ability to do so much in a bipod and they tuck away real nicely like that when you're not using it. So a great system there from Swagger. Now you can remove the rubber feet here if you want and they've got a little a sharp point on the end there. So if you need a little more traction than the rubber feet are providing, you can go ahead and do that and they'll just stay in place nicely that way. On the underneath side here, with the way this attaches to your rifles, you got two sling studs. And those are screws that basically hold this swagger onto the stock of your, of your rifle. So you can unscrew those, of course, tighten those down if you're going to take it out in the field and set those aside and it pulls right off like that. And this little piece right here attaches to an existing sling stud 
on your rifle. There's a little screw that goes right there. You can see that goes through that sling stud. Uh, put that in place. You can use like this is the Boyd's featherweight stock. Uh, you can attach it to either one of these depending on how you want this to ride on the rifle. And then once you get that set the way you like it, hold that in place. And then you go ahead and put these back on there and they just screw right on into the, into the, the mount that you put on your sling stud. So you might be wondering, how does this thing perform? Let's run down to the range and check this out. Do a little slow motion video here. This, you can see this being shot. Um, there's certainly more flex in the legs than some of the others. You can see that in the slow motion here. But at the same time, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, some people prefer that and some people don't. So it just depends on what you like. Either way, what you get with this is just so much flexibility and versatility. Uh, you've got a wide, wide range of options and way to use this. Even though the weight's a little bit high and it's a little more bulky, you've got a ton of options, a ton of features, and a ton of things that you can use this for, not just as a prone bipod, because you know most of these other ones we've reviewed here, you're kind of stuck in a prone style bipod or something else when you make your selection. This one gives you more versatility that way. So you can buy one like the Swagger here and be good to go all the way from prone up to sitting style shots. So, that is the Swagger Hunter 29. It's a great bipod, super flexible, super versatile. Check that out if you'd like. If it looks like something you're interested in, drop any questions or comments for us. We'd love to help you and help answer any questions you've got. Thanks for joining us for this series. It's been a lot of fun going through these bipods. Really enjoyed it. There's just a lot of great options for bipods out there. And hopefully this series has helped you in narrowing that down and making your selection. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.